Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Apple had some amazing announcements and also some terrible announcements a couple of days back. So in this video, I wanted to compile a small list of interesting things if you are an AI engineer. Imagine you are an AI engineer, you are an ML developer, and what are the things that matters to you? Before we jump onto those clips from Apple event, I want to quickly show you something that are not a lot of people are aware of. People know PyTorch, people know TensorFlow, people know Keras. But there is a framework from Apple that is called Core ML. So this framework, Core ML from Apple, is optimized for on-device performance. Like all these models could be run on Apple, iPhone, iPad, or all these devices. So what you see here is the Core, Core ML framework that helps you run machine learning models or AI models on Apple devices. There are a bunch of tutorials on this. You can directly go ahead and then check on what kind of models are available. There are a bunch of interesting models. But if you are, you know, if you are on this channel, you probably know that we cover AI heavily and AI, a primary part of AI is large language models. Now you might be wondering how can I run a large language model on Apple devices if I'm a developer. That's exactly what the next section is going to help you because Apple on June 2022 announced how you can deploy transformers on Apple Neural Engine. This is like generally any transformer model like BERT, Distal BERT and all these things. But when we specifically talk about the decoder based models or the models that we have currently and thanks to Hugging Face, especially thanks to Pedro who has done a tremendous job of porting a lot of these large language models, even stable diffusion to Apple ecosystem and also they have released templates. So if you go to this blog post, which I'll link it in the YouTube description, you can just go down and see how you can run these Apple models or these large language models natively on Apple devices. So you can see here they've got Swift transformers. They've got Swift chat that helps you create like a simple Swift application where you can do chat and you've got like a couple of other um, easy applications like for example transformers to core ML. This is going to help you translate a hugging face transformers model into a core ML model that you can ultimately move to Apple devices. And also as a matter of fact you have already got some converted models like Llama 2 7 billion parameter model, like Falcon 7 billion parameter model, which you can directly download and then start using it within your Swift application if you want to develop Core ML products that runs on devices. Now let's move on to the Apple announcement event. The first one that I wanted to tell you about is that they've got a very new chip on Apple Watch, um, the new latest watch. The chip is S9 and the chip has got some interesting details about it. Let's learn from that and its GPU is 30% faster. S9 also has a new four core neural engine that can process machine learning tasks up to twice as fast. And because of the new chip, something very interesting is happening, which is you can run transformers model locally on device on an Apple watch. That means a smartphone can potentially run your large language model and that day is not far away. It is available in the latest Apple Watch. Let's listen to it. Thanks to the powerful new neural engine, because the neural engine can run a more advanced transformer model, dictation on series nine is up to 25% more accurate than on series eight. They've got a new chip for the iPhone, the iPhone, the latest one. The A17 Pro is what they call the chip. The interesting thing about this chip is the GPU and also the neural engine. Let's learn from this because this is going to help us in run in running a lot of these large language models. And also, for example, if you want to create 3D applications, ray tracing is there. So I think this is going to be a huge potential if you're an AI engineer. The new CPU features microarchitectural and design improvements for both our performance cores and efficiency cores. The neural engine is now up to twice as fast for machine learning models allowing it to process up to 35 trillion operations per second. The groundbreaking innovation of A17 Pro is a brand new GPU with a new Apple design shader architecture. This is a Pro class GPU. The new GPU is now a six core design, which is up to 20% faster for peak performance. We've added brand new features to the GPU like mesh shading, which lets games create detailed environments while drawing less power. And for the first time, we have hardware accelerated ray tracing. If you just want to know about some application, voice isolation is something that Apple has launched. This is again a very good example of how you can take machine learning and apply it for some everyday use case. 
and on device models enable Apple to do this where you can isolate only the voice from noise. Like if you're using Zoom or Teams, you know that this is a feature that has been already available, but this is available within your smartphone. And that also gives you the potential about what kind of large language models that you can, you can use on Apple devices. And now audio quality on phone calls is getting better too because iPhone 15 uses a more advanced machine learning model that automatically prioritizes your voice. If you prefer to filter out even more distracting background noise, just select voice isolation and you'll come through loud and clear. So that's it. I just wanted to quickly give you an update about things that matters for our subscribers. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you have been developing core ML models, I would definitely love to know. Someday I want to cover this on the channel because this is not something that we do a lot. Even there is a new Rust LLM framework that I'm thinking about covering. So I'm always planning to bring diversity in the content that we cover. So let me know your suggestions and feedback. See you in another video. Happy prompting. Peace.